So I'm milling up some pretty nice lumber today. Uh, this log here, this is a, an elm. This is just the top piece that I take off, but if you look down here, oh my gosh, that is some gorgeous wood. There is like a pinkish purple, uh, purple, uh, spalting all through here. And then down here, there's another purple, purple spot. And there is a sort of a crack going down through here. But man, this is a, a gorgeous piece of wood. There, now you can see it, see it a little better. So I've got, this is elm, I think, I'm not 100% sure. I have this log, and then I have this one, this one. And then, I don't know if this is an elm here, these two. I'm not real sure about the bark, because this one doesn't have any. So I'm not real sure if these are elm, and if you guys have any idea, Post it in the comments below. This one may have grown up after the Dutch elm disease came through and wiped all wiped this tree out. This one and this one. Uh, this all came from one tree. I know this side looks pretty bad. This one's got sort of a double barrel on it. And these are... That was the bottom of another one. And... Yeah, there's a little bit of spalting going on there. But I also have have some really nice maple. I'm pretty sure this is a maple. But it has this real dark, dark spot going right through the middle and then a light outside. I guess this is the heartwood and this is the sapwood. So this log looks, it looks really cool. It almost reminds me of walnut. I know it's not walnut though because walnut has the dark center and then the real light outside of the board. But this is going to be some pretty wood. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, you can see the ends. Um, yeah, you can sort of see them. Here's one there and there. There is, on this side, yeah, you can still see it here. Nice big dark spot on the inside of this, and then this one has a triple branch, triple crotch coming out of it on this side, and boy, this wood is absolutely beautiful. This is my second time milling maple. This is my first time milling this kind of maple, though, and my first time milling the, what I think is elm, but oh my gosh, this wood looks absolutely gorgeous. So I'm thinking I may start selling these. I turned the one into a bench and it worked It worked pretty good. It was pretty solid. And the I sold it on Facebook Marketplace after, what was it, a day or two of it being up. I had it on for a full day and then the next morning it sold. So, but I have, I have a, lot, a lot of those pieces left over, a ginormous pile. I mean, there's a lot of benches sitting there. These two here, the double barrels, those will be really cool to mill up. Hopefully they won't split. This one here, to me, looks like it will split, and you'll just have two, two boards. But this one here, I don't think it will. But I'll tell you, I got a little bit of, almost a mixture of everything. From spruce to cherry, maybe elm, and maple. Maple sitting up on the trailer. So I thought you guys would like to see this. Yeah, there's no real dark spots on those ones. But the Timber Pro and Chinese saw are still doing good. I did, I nicked one of the rakers on the chain of the Timber Pro. And that's why there's, you can see a little groove. There's some groove, so it bites. It bites in one spot. 
So I'm gonna somehow have to fix that. I'm not gonna throw the chain away. There's still, I could probably get another three, four, maybe five sharpenings out of this before the chain's totally toast. So I'm thinking of actually just zapping that one spot, that one raker with my little Harbor Freight welder just on min, the min setting, just enough to build it back up again and then I might have to take it back down and get it to the right height. So yeah. This is so cool. I can't even believe I'm still doing this. These maple logs are very, very, very heavy. They, they weigh a tremendous amount. The elm, this tree's, I, it's been dead for years. Oh my gosh, it's been dead for probably 30 years and still standing, which was kind of surprising. And these logs aren't too bad. They're not real bad. And there is a little... They're starting to get a little soft, just a very little bit. So I think I got them just in time before the tree falls over and then it's all downhill from there. So I hope you guys have enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more and share this video. And if you also want to be notified whenever I post a new video, make sure you click that little bell button beside the subscribe button. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.